Welcome back to part four of having a glow. So this is where we left off in part three. Now we're gonna crank the sass factor and add some more style to this glow. So let's duplicate this comp. And in here, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna turn off our glow and then add a new one. And uh, let's increase the radius here. And what we want is instead of just having this glow that's on both axes, I want to do one that's just on vertical. The problem being with this default glow is that we only have a choice of horizontal or vertical, which that doesn't really suit me. What I'm going to do is add deep glow here. And this has a more intuitive aspect ratio. We could go all the way on Y, just like in the default glow, all the way on X, or we could go somewhere in between. So I'm going to go about 0.2, which is mostly on the Y, but we're still getting some of it because if we go completely on the Y, it just creates these very strange uh, it, it looks cool, but it's not what we're going for. So let's add a bit of both and I don't want the source to take part. Let's use what we learned in the previous lesson. We want higher threshold. I'm going to do no threshold smoothing. Let's bump the radius up to maybe 750 or a th let's go a thousand. And I'm actually going to lower the quality just so that we get um, some more granular results here. And let's up the brightness. Oh, that's looking quite nice. Um, let's go back to our original glow here and add that in. And I'm just going to call this one glow Y because it's mostly on the Y and let's add that back on. And that looks cool, but it's a bit strong. So let's lower the opacity. And that's looking great. If we turn that off, we can see this one. Well, it's okay, but it's just a bit too even. This one looks more like a realistic style. It just looks a bit more natural bit more imperfections to it. it makes it more interesting now another technique that I like to do on my glows once we're sort of getting towards the end is I like to add a bit of grain because we've got this really nice light fall off here but it's just too plain it looks too pixel perfect uh, if we add grain to this then we can add some sort of texture to that and that's just going to add some more detail to it and make it look a lot nicer Another thing I like to do is add some chromatic aberration. So I'm just going to add another plug in everything product, but this one's free quick chromatic aberration. This one's compatible with HDR images. It's GPU accelerated. So that will sort of also again, take away the pixel perfect nature of this and sort of make it look more realistic. This is looking great. And in the next lesson, what we're going to do is discuss a bit more technical stuff about linear workflow because we have a, a bit of a problem here and we'll talk about what that is in the next part.